I'm a cameraman. Hey, what's up, y'all? Just finished editing my podcast I did with Ryan Dawson. Ryan Dawson is an author, historian, and all around bad dude. Here are a couple of clips that I hope you guys enjoy. The entire conversation is nearly two hours, and it was fun. We covered historical events as well as current events. If you guys want to see that, check the description of this video and check it out. And while you're there, y'all smash that button. You will also find other content that I cannot post here. So for all my uncensored content, check it out there and or follow me on your favorite podcast player, Spotify, Apple iTunes, Amazon, all that shabazz. Thank you guys. Much love. I'm a cameraman. Like none of these things would have been possible had you not made these first 2000 mistakes in a row. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, honest Abe presented by (laughs) Mr. Dawson. (laughs) No, man, it it definitely, when you really, really dig into it, it puts the murdered Indians, he put blacks in concentration camps that they called contraband camps. He, he starved to death Southerners, burned burned whole cities. Like, yeah, burn Atlanta, burn Columbia, South Carolina. Go into just- the the starving of the of the 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 POWs. Uh, I thought that was oh, pretty. Like Andersonville is yeah, a good yeah. example. So, Yankee prisoners uh, in Andersonville who had been captured uh, were running out of food because everybody was running out of food because Sherman was scorching the earth just burning fields and attacking civilians cutting supply lines and these are civilian cities and they're trying to feed these prisoners and they couldn't and they and they offered prisoner swaps that got rejected they had the same rations as the guards nobody had enough to eat and they're they didn't hate these people and these are they speak the same language or the same the same country you know or used to be they they weren't like aha i mean they like we got yeah you're a prisoner you're only a prisoner because we don't want you to go rejoin the northern army whatever we'll keep you alive and release you at the end of the war whatever they eventually got to the point where so many were dying Twelve thousand five hundred people starved to death or died from starvation related diseases because you don't die of typhoid and typhus and things like that unless you're immune compromised and starving they said look we'll just send a ship and we'll bring them out there you pick them up take them back north like we'll let them go if you'll take them up there you just promise you know you're going to release them in the north and, and feed them or bring the food or whatever every offer they made they rejected because lincoln's like nah that will burden the the southern effort because they have to feed them it's like we don't have to we let them all die and just eat our own food but they knew they wouldn't do that the southerners continued to feed them and a lot of them did survive to the end of the war and the saddest thing is when they were put on a ship to go home go up the mississippi the sultania was called Sultana, excuse me. And a guy, a greedy businessman, decided not to fix one of the boilers on the ship and did this <laughs> rigging to it. And it blew up. And they burned to death or drowned. And it was like the biggest maritime... It's the biggest maritime accident in history that wasn't in the war, right? Um, I forget the actual numbers, but... I, it was a lot, like 10,000 or something ridiculous. All these prisoners. It was They overloaded the ship. Never should have had so many on it. And it blew up in the middle of a very wide river. And they drowned or burned. How shitty is that? And it's like That's after surviving prison that whole time, being fed that whole time. And you're on your way home. Yeah. And your you're- loved ones have received letters saying you're you're coming home and the war's over and your ship blows up from a from a cameraman. Because some greedy businessman 
little shyster from Massachusetts decides not to fix the uh, the boiler properly God, and to overpack the ship to get paid per head or something like that. So he just put them all on way too many. Capsized, man. And next time you think you, you're having a bad day, think about that story. I mean, you're going through hell. You're going through hell. You think you're finally going to escape this. From the cameraman. Can dip in life. <laughs> And then mm -hmm. you go through this shit. It's, dude, it's terrible tragedy that I didn't even know about until I heard you talking about it. It's part of North Carolina. But oh, it's, okay. it's definitely a unique island culture down there with Okakoke and Roanoke, two oh, other islands. Shit. Ooh, mm -hmm. you got any, any cool history bits on that, real quick? On the Roanoke? Okay. That's a oh, mystery well, well, unsolved. No, no, that mystery's been solved. My brother solved it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I got a twin brother. So we're, we're native and Irish and probably mix your bunch of it. But, um, cause you asked me that earlier, I think the, the Roanoke colony wasn't at Roanoke. The Roanoke colony was in Croatoan, which is the old name for Hatteras Island. It was right under Roanoke. Um, and much longer. What people omit from the story, because pe the story that they think of the Lost Colony is from a play from 1937, and, and that an outdoor play that's been ongoing that um, oh, uh, the uh, Andy Griffith played in it. There was Andy Griffith show, which was popular for its time period, black and white show about police. Um, Andy Griffith played Sir Walter Raleigh in the outdoor play, and he's from. Uh, Manio, which is the, the city on Roanoke Island. And that sort of Hollywood narrative took over the historical narrative. But there was never any confusion in the historical record about the lost colony. They became lost in 1937, not in 1590s. It was in the 1930s that what? they became lost. If what? you look at the primary sources, clearly, first of all, there were two voyages before the lost colony to Croatoan Island, Hatteras, to where they were living, okay? The way they got to Roanoke, they didn't sail from England to Roanoke. They went to Croatoan, and then some of the group from Croatoan went to Roanoke. From a cameraman.